Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Deb, and you guys are now tuning in to VerseOnline.com's interview with singer, songwriter, and producer Dwele. Um, okay, so many people say that artists tend to forget their roots once they hit fame. Does that apply to you, and do you think that's, that there's any truth? Oh, maybe I haven't hit fame yet. <laughs> Hopefully I'm kidding. If it's better from here, then I'm, then I'm, then I'm good. Then I'm good. But um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think, I think it depends on the individual. You know what I'm saying? And, and the people that they keep around me. You know, I have a lot of family. I have a lot of friends here in Detroit. I don't really plan on leaving at any time too soon. You know, and I think um, sometimes you know, in an artist situation, they have to, they have to put themselves closer to their producers or closer to their writers, which is usually New York or L.A. But I, I do pretty much all my stuff, so I can set up shop wherever I want to be. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's my crib, whether it's my mama's crib. So I'm good in Detroit. So you lost your father at a very young age. How do you think the passing of your father influenced your music? Um, I definitely think it influenced me. You know, um, uh, Before he passed, we bought me my first, my first keyboard. And after he passed, I kind of looked at that as a way of continuing to keep a part of him with me by, by, by getting more into music. And after a while, I kind of learned how to put my emotions into music. When I felt like I couldn't necessarily talk to somebody about something, I would feel my emotions either either in lyrics or, or in just music, you know, just in, in, in an instrumental or in a beat, you know, um, or a composition, you know what I'm saying? So I definitely think, um, you know, by my father passing, it's left me with a lot to say and no comfort to really talk to anybody about it. You know what I'm saying? So I went to the music, definitely. So you received your big music break after singing a hook on Slum Village, Tainted. Is there any future plans to reconnect? Definitely. You know, me and Slum, we always work. Um, um, I'm definitely, you know, looking forward to collaborating with them, working with them again. You know, um, if the opportunity arises, they all, I'm always on their album. They're always on my album. You know, nothing's changed, so, you know, if, if, if they come together for, for another joint, I'm, I'm definitely there. So you're a singer, songwriter, and music producer. How do you make time for all three aspects, and which do you find to be the most challenging? Um, I think I think they're kind of all in the same. Um, I'm usually not producing a joint unless I'm writing to it and finishing it with a vocal or, or, or rhyming, you know what I'm saying? So they kind of all, all happen at the same time. Um... I think it really depends, you know, from song to song, which one is more is, is the more challenging. Sometimes it's the musical aspect. Sometimes it's the sometimes it's the actual vocal aspect. Really depending on the song and, and, and the key that the song is in. So you're mostly labeled as a soul singer. Do you think that label clearly defines your musical style? Definitely not. Definitely not. I think um, I understand why people say that. You know, being that when I came out. You know, I was, it, it was more soulful, it was in that soulful era. And on top of that, I rocked the natural hair. People think that, you know, dudes with natural hair is soul or neo soul. So I understand that. But I do so much more than soul music. You know, I do, um, I, I dabble in rock, I do hip hop. You know, I do all of that, you know. So um, I definitely think it's more than that. And, you know, this past album, I think that there are certain songs on the album that could be considered a little more R&B rather than neo soul. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and some are more jazz than Neil so and some are more hip hop, you know, so so it's it's it, it's it's a little broad, but I understand when people need to maybe something. So because of that label, do you think listeners have embraced your musical style like you would want? Or do you still find it challenging at times to get love like an Um I think I think I think people embrace it. Um I think it kind of makes it weird for some people when I pop up on a Kanye album because of my label or when I pop up on a Big Shot album. You know what I'm saying? I think um, it kind of throws people. Um, but I think for the most part, people embrace it. And um, I always try to add different elements into my music to kind of bring other people in that otherwise wouldn't listen to Neo Soul music. You know, So, so I'm always trying to, to, to stretch out and... and, and being that you're a celebrity yourself, do you tend to find yourself starstruck when working with? Um, 
Yeah, I think, I think it's a level of starstruckness <laughs> that comes to play with some artists. You know, um, definitely. I don't think that ever goes away. You're, all, you're always going to be a fan of something or somebody. You know, so uh, that, that, that stays. I don't think that goes away. Once that, once that leaves, I think it's time to... With this music industry forever changing, how do you maintain a level head and just an overall humble spirit? Um, I just continue to try being me, you know, as, as, as far as um, as far as that goes. Um, whether that means, you know, uh, uh, whether that means you know just going out and hanging with my people where everybody else is hanging. I don't necessarily try to separate myself from from, from, from anybody. I like to live like you know what I'm saying, especially at home. Detroit. I mean, you got to be home somewhere, so why not here? You know, I, I get people tell me a lot, like, like, what are you doing here? Why are you here? You're not supposed to be here. I'm like, I got to live. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be bottled up in the, in the house all the time. But, um, definitely, I think that, 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 that definitely keeps me grounded. And as far as music changes, you know, I just kind of, I'm, 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 I'm blessed to have been able to just do what I feel, you know, and, and put it out without too much, um, restrictions or restraint from from a label you know so i always just do what i feel you know whether I, whether what i feel is, is is popping or not you know i always just, just move to what my heart feels so formerly being signed to a major label and now being signed to a major indie why the change and how do you think signing to an independent label with comparison to a major label assisted with the advancement of your career um it's definitely good to to, to, to to play both sides and to see what the differences are. I feel like the, the major difference, um, one of the one of the pros to being with the major label is that you have a lot of money back in your product. You know, there's nobody running around talking about, yo, I didn't know you had a project out. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody knows about it for the most part. Um, you get a little bit of a fall off, you know, when um, when you're working with a, with, a, with a major, and I call it a major independent. You know, you get some of a fall off. You got to get a little bit more creative with the marketing, you know, which, which is also fun sometimes, too. Um, I think uh, some of the pros of, of being with, uh, with the major independent would be the creativity factor. You get to stretch out. You get to do things that you otherwise probably wouldn't be able to get to do with the major label. Um, and I guess that's about it. That's about the major... Um, last but not least, so you're currently on tour, is that correct? Uh, right now I'm doing spot days. I'm in Detroit right now, but I'm, uh, I'm in and out. Okay. So aside from that, what other projects are you currently working on? Um, I'm working on a few things that they're a little too early to talk about right now. Um, but of course I'm always working on the next album, you know, uh, when I get some downtime. Uh, but right now, my main focus is really just getting out, promoting the last album, Once World Women. I still think, I feel like it's a lot of people that don't know about it yet, and that's really, you know, the whole key to, the whole purpose of touring is to get to get the music out there, you know, so that, that's my primary focus right now, but in the meantime, you know, I'm working on a few projects and, and definitely pressing for the next album. Okay, so a quick shout out um, to how people could get in contact with you, either through Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, um, they can contact me on Facebook, just uh, search Dwelle. Uh, you can contact me on Twitter, at the real Dwelle. Uh, MySpace.com forward slash Dwelle. YouTube.com forward slash Dwelle24. That's a channel with a lot of different videos on it. You know, um, you do a lot of fun stuff at home with music, you know, and you just act silly. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's real creative. Um, I think that's it. I think that's, I think that's everything. Dwelle.com on there. What's up, y'all? This is your man, Dwelle, from Detroit City. We kicking it right here on VerseOnline.com. Make sure y'all keep it locked, people. VerseOnline.com.